In the wake of this agreement about the government's decision to impose a new value-added tax on electricity consumers beyond the lifeline threshold, the Electricity Company of Ghana, the implementing agency, has raised concerns about the law imposing the tax, although ECG and the Northern Electricity Distribution Company had been directed to implement the tax from January 2024. ECG has said it is yet to implement it. Speaking on Joy News, as PM Express, the managing director, Samuel Dubai, Big Mahama stated the ECG cannot merely respond to the letter from the government, especially when there are bottlenecks with the provision in the law that was passed as far back as 2013. I asked for a legal opinion from the lawyers for ECG to find out if within the law, if this provision is right and if in its implementation and what it will mean. So let's not take it for granted to think that even the company ECG or government itself is not taking proactive measures to close this gap and to find a way out of it. If this law has to go back to parliament for it to be looked at and reconsidered, yes, then so be it. It should be a, a consensus. So we need to actually applaud the TUC for what they are doing. And then also take and also be clear that if the thing is not being implemented and there's a paragraph, the last paragraph says, you should uh, they transfer the revenues collected from the implementation of the VAT on the subject matter as a domestic VAT collection. There are processes that need to be what? To be outlined. First of all, one of the biggest challenges that will come up is this. Are we charging the VAT on uh, residential customers? If yes, are they on prepaid meters? Yes. So are you charging on prepaid meters? Are you charging per the money? or the consumption because with prepaid consumption is at the end of the day your consumption will be known at the end of the day because you are prepaying for something mm. so I, I will only know your consumption after you have consumed mm -hmm. so if i charge you the vat when you're about to pay that will not be fair if i'm charging on consumption but at the end of the day that means that if i'm to implement it at the end of the day when you're about to purchase again, you actually have a debt that needs to be settled. So all I'll say is there's a lot of stakeholder engagement that has to go into something like this. Because, so I, I see more of this letter as an, uh, a letter setting in motion an inquiry into all of this. The AC Managing Director is also questioning the framers of the law, insisting they have more to answer for the imposition of VAT on electricity. The framers of that law, they need to be asked for clarity. Let's go back for the interpretation. Why did you pass this law? That's Parliament. Yeah, why did you... Oh, because you said that Parliament passed it. Parliament passed it. So we need to understand, we need to get their understanding of this. Before, before we can go forward. Based on what you now know, because you've done some work, and I just see this conversation started last year. Yeah. You actually commissioned your lawyers to look into this. I'm curious, what did your lawyer say? If I'm charging VAT on a business, yes, you're using the power to add value. If you're doing, let's say, a business, in, you're, you live in your home, and you're running a business in your home, you should pay VAT because you're using it to add value. Mm. But the lawyers are also saying, if you're living home with your family and all of that, then whoever wrote that law needs to be, we need to go back to that person to find out what was the mind behind you saying for somebody sitting in their home, enjoying electricity, they should pay value added tax. That's it. So the lawyers were saying, look, you need to go back for further interpretation on this because to even implement this, it will be very, very difficult. Be and I know for a fact that nobody's trying to cause any hardship. So that's why I know this wasn't sent with any malice, and I don't understand why it's calling all of them, because I cannot set this in motion without not going to my regulator, PURC.